Progressive Stages of Meditation on Emptiness, by Venkenpo Tsultram Jiamso Rinpoche, translated and arranged by Shenpen Hook M. Conclusion Dharma consists of view, meditation, and action. In this meditation progression on emptiness we first establish the view in a simple and brief form. This is important because if the view is wrong, the meditation will be also. Following on from having established what is the right view, comes the actual meditation. Meditation, Zgam in Tibetan, means to train by accustoming oneself. This requires discipline and perseverance in the practice until realization arises. Finally following on from the meditation comes the conduct that accords with the meditation. The meditation causes one's mind and attitude to change and this means a change in one's conduct. This meditation progression on emptiness needs to be carefully examined with the critical mind that is searching for the true and precise nature of reality. The Buddha said that we should not just accept his words out of respect for him, or for any other reason. We should examine them for ourselves to see if they are true or not. Only if we find them true and conducive to the good and wholesome should we accept them. We should examine the teachings like a merchant buying gold. He tests the gold by means of one test after another until he is perfectly sure it is pure and flawless. Only then does he accept it. In the same way we should examine the teachings until we are sure they are true and without fault. Only then should we accept them. Appendix The range of the Buddha's teachings is organized in a number of ways. There are the three vehicles, Yana, numerous schools, and three turnings of the will of the Dharma Dharma Kakra the three vehicles these are the Hinayana, Mahayana and Vajrayana. This division is stressed in Tibetan Buddhism which is correctly called Three Yana Buddhism. Three Yana Buddhism originated in India and is taught in all Tibetan Buddhist schools. Schools Many schools of Buddhism sprang up in India and the countries to which Buddhism spread. Certain formulations of the Buddha's doctrine are associated with each school. The diagram below shows the relationship between some of the main philosophical schools that originated in India. Dharma Kakras According to Mahayana literature, each sutra spoken by the Buddha is associated with a certain Dharma Kakra. In the sutras it is taught that the Buddha turned the will of the Dharma three times. The first time he taught that dharmas exist but that they are not the self. The second time he taught that dharmas do not exist. They are empty. The third time he taught that absolute reality is the clear light nature of the mind. Although Vajrayana corresponds to the view of the third dharma kakra, it is based on the tantras and is not of the sutra tradition. Thus Vajrayana is not included in the three dharma kakras. In this progressive stages of meditation on emptiness the Sravaka not self stage represents the Hinayana view of the first Dharma Kakra the Madhyamaka Rangtong, Svatantrika and Prasanjika, represents the Mahayana view of the second Dharma Kakra the Shentong represents the Mahayana view of the third Dharma Kakra which is further developed in Vajrayana. Kenpo Tsultrim often divides the Buddha's teaching into four, one. The way things appear to exist ego rebirth, karma cause and effect, atoms, and moments of consciousness. This corresponds to Hinayana. 2. The way all things are fundamentally mind. In other words there is no real distinction between mind and matter. This is the doctrine of the Sittamatra. 3. The way things really are. In other words empty of true existence. This is the doctrine of the sutras of the second Dharma Kakra 4. The ultimate reality of the way things really are. In other words things manifest as the play of the clear light nature of mind. This doctrine is found in the sutras of the third Dharma Kakra, in Shentong, and in Vajrayana.